Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. It's your girl, Savannah Smiles. So about a week ago, my boyfriend posted a conversation between him and I, and I knew it was gonna be posted. Kind of just about how I'm struggling to find my niche on my channel. And everyone's like, oh, you should do finance content. I'm not gonna do finance content. I like talking about relationships. And usually my Friday videos are Reddit relationship stories, but today we are going Reddit relationships and money because that's always been something that you guys have liked to see. So we're gonna be talking about relationships and money in this video. Let's get right into it. I don't wanna, let's not make this long. All right, this first one is called My Fiance Owes Me Money. Money, but she doesn't want to pay me. I, 28 year old female, have a fiance, 30 year old female, and last year I loaned her money as her employer was slow to pay her. We've lived together for a year and we share all the bills, but she earns a little bit more than I do, but I think the division is fair. In total, the loan amounted to 2.5 thousand, and when she received the payment from her boss, she didn't pay me right away and she would need the money to pay some future personal bills. However, this week she spent over 3,000 on electronics, claiming to be buying herself birthday presents. Her birthday is two months away, and when I asked her, to pay me what she owes me. She said she can't spend it because she might need the money for the future. How do I deal with the situation where she isn't the least bit concerned about getting back to me what she owes? What would be the best way to ask her to send me the money? Info, in the country where I live, married people don't necessarily need to have bills and finances together. Too long didn't read, my fiance owes me money but doesn't want to pay me. What's the best way to solve this situation? Definitely living in another country where finances aren't always joint. I can see where she's coming from on this. I know for the future, my plan with my boyfriend is to have our finances separate, except for one joint account that we're going to use to pay for like when the housekeeper comes or like when the pest control comes by to spray for scorpions because I don't want scorpions coming into the house. But anyways, while it was a little bit more traditional to have joint finances, kind of this hybrid model that I have or completely separate finances is very common nowadays. So I do get what she means. I think the hard thing with loaning someone money is you have to expect not to get that back. But in their shoes, I would be very frustrated that somebody just spent 3000 on electronics. I think some context we might need there is exactly what she does. So like if for work, she works off of her laptop. And if her employer was slow on paying her, I'm kind of wondering if she's a 1099 instead of a like W2 employee because the rules can be very different with payments. So I'm wondering if that was more of a business expense rather than a like personal expense. I just wanted a new phone, certain deal. That being said, it could just be personal enjoyment, upgrading your iPhone, and then also getting a new TV. So really, what do I know? Anyways, I think the best way for OP to go about this is to sit down their partner and discuss with them why this bothers them, and then say that you understand future bills. I really think you need to get where they're coming from in terms of future bills. If they've struggled financially before, it would be kind of understandable that you'd be panicked about pulling that much money out of their account. And maybe see if you can like start a payment plan to get the money back, whether it be you'll get paid back over the course of five months and they'll pay you back $500 a month thing. I would just kind of try to understand where they're coming from a little bit because the, in case they need it in the future, it sounds like to me that they could have struggled with finance in the past, be very hesitant about pulling that much money out of their account. Weird that they did that for electronics, but unless that's a business expense, then I can can see where they're coming from. I would see if OP can really understand where she's coming from in the, in case I need it for future bills and work out a payment plan. I think that's probably the best idea. 29 year old female with 36 year old male wondering about long-term relationship. How important is money? Very important. It's very, very important. Okay. I'm going to start this off by my three year relationship with my 36 year old male boyfriend has its troubles. He's an alcoholic that when drunk, sometimes verbally abuses me. I'm not here to talk about that. I'm turning 30 soon and now I'm done with school and have a good job. I want to start saving money and start a family in the coming years. There's a whole other thing to unpack here. I don't have any experience with addicts, just right off the bat. I do want to say that I would be very hesitant about the relationship in general if your partner keeps getting drunk and then verbally abusing you. I don't think that anyone should stay in a relationship with somebody who's not actively willing to work on their issues, but if they know that they have this problem and they're okay with letting themselves keep falling down this hole where they keep hurting you. I would just be very cautious about this relationship. To all the ladies, what qualities do you look for in a long-term partner? I hate to sound shallow, but is a good career slash money one of them? I really cringe writing this, but I've never had a man financially support me. Yes, I've had men take me out to dinner, but I see things on social media like men who pay for multiple vacations a year, clothes, etc. Let me say, I never want to rely on a man, but dating a man who makes some money, of course, wouldn't be bad. Never been in that situation, hence why I'm asking. Okay, so for the people who don't know me, uh, my name is Macy and my partner's name is Graham. I'm probably gonna be using Graham and my boyfriend interchangeably. That is the same person. My boyfriend is a multimillionaire. He makes a lot of money, but honestly, I 
um, wasn't attracted to him because of that. You shouldn't just date somebody because they're a multimillionaire. Definitely dating someone with this kind of a financial situation comes with a whole other host of things that you wouldn't necessarily expect. There's a lot of judgment that gets passed on to me. It doesn't matter who I am. There's some people that ultimately will judge the crap out of our relationship just because of his financial situation and that he has a girlfriend. They also typically, when someone has this financial status and this is the first generation of wealth within their family, there's a lot of work. There can be issues with even getting to see them frequently. I don't think you should date someone based off of their job, but I also do to an extent. I do think ultimately most people kind of have a picture of about where they want to be in life and some of that does involve finances. I've always wanted to own a home. I've always wanted to have a relatively stable life for me and my children. I've always had a lot of high aspirations and high goals to make a six figure, a seven figure income. And that's always been my goal. Well before I met my boyfriend, ever before I graduated high school, etc. I've left relationships before because a guy didn't have an aligned goal. I don't think necessarily you should be dating someone just because of what they work, but more what their goal for the future is. If your goal is to have a nice little picket fence and a house that you own in a good part of town and two children that you are taking to like soccer pla <laughs> practices, soccer, soccer practices and you want them to kind of experience life doing like one vacation every summer for a week and your partner's goal is to work as little as possible and work part-time, minimum wage, and a retail job. Your goals for the future are different. You're not necessarily breaking up with them because of their job or how much money they make, but more because of their aspirations and what they want for the future. So in a way, yes, you kind of are dating someone based off their job, but also no, it's more about finding someone whose visions for the future align well with yours. This sounds shallow AF, but Besides someone I share baseline friendship with, what other qualities do you look for? Again, like future, I would look to see like in moral situations, do they handle them the same as you? There's gotta be some variations in there. Do you have some things that maybe you enjoy more and that are more your hobbies? Is there things together? Those are more what I look for. Uh, definitely a knowledge in finance is, was very important to me because I wanted somebody to talk about stock picks with. You more wanna look off of like what somebody wants out of life and who they are as a person rather than like where they're at now, where they're going, I guess. The whirlwind romance, I've done it and it just turned out to be abusive. That being said, I've been lending money to my man over our relationship and he always pays me back. I did it 12 months, no interest loan for $9,000 for him. So please don't think I'm a terrible person for bringing the money aspect. BTW, he only has two payments left. My point is, is that I never been concerned about money and relationship, should I be? Edit, I'm not talking about starting a family with my current partner. I'm talking about in a new relationship, is money something you look for? FYI, I don't plan and starting a family with an abusive alcoholic. Too long didn't read, 30 year old female, 36 year old male, wondering about long-term relationship, how important is money? Money in a way kind of is everything, but also isn't because I think it more ties into like your goals and your aspirations for the future. And I think that's more what's important. Obviously this is a video recording, so I'm not gonna be able to physically talk to you, but just sit and picture what you want for the future. Is, you know, what's your partner look like? What does your life together look like? Do you have a family? Are you guys traveling? Where do you live? What's your living situation? All of those items are directly tied into money. And before I get the comment sections like, oh, you know, the, the gold digger thing, not meaning that. I'm meaning more that your ideas on money and philosophies line up. If you're good with constantly having credit card debt and you wanna do that, Fine, but if you're somebody that's very scheduled and you want to retire early and whatever, you can't have a partner who is spending willy-nilly all over the place and racks up crazy credit card debt and stuff. That's more what I mean. It's not about like just find a man with money. It's find somebody with similar values on money to you. I think this next story will help me explain my last point better. Partner and I have differing views on money. Growing up, my dad, male 60, had constant money issues. He makes good money, lives with a relative, and pays in no household expenses. My mom, 57 year old female, has not worked my entire life. Her children have been grown for at least 15 years and she's capable of working. Despite this, my dad bounces between near bankruptcy and racking up the credit cards. It's all consumer debt. He owns almost nothing outright and it still affects me to this day. We never have Christmas gifts. My dad 
dad cannot budget for it and I was severely medically neglected as a child due to his avoidance of expenses that didn't benefit himself and have been left with lifelong issues. My mom currently has an infection, claims that he can't afford a copay to see the doctor, but my dad is buying tools that he never uses almost daily. It's caused with me to build savings, always work, obtain a college degree, I do have some student loans, never have a credit card balance, and to be extremely cheap. Hey, <laughs> that sounds like right off the bat, excellent finances. Good job. Except for student loans, they can be very expensive. So just get those paid down ASAP. I even repair my own things and make many of the things I need. Even my financial advisor's impressed and says I don't need his advice. You know what? It's just gonna take a second. You go OP. I was very lucky to have parents that for the most part were very good with their finances. My parents didn't necessarily understand investing, but they did end up working their way up through different houses, improving them from a starter home all the way up to the current house that they have, which is extremely nice. My dad always worked very hard. They saved money. I was very lucky to get that example as a child, but OP did not have that. And it's really easy when that's your example that you've had to fall into that. Like it was easier for me to fall into being a little bit better about saving and spending. But OP had the opposite and went completely great with it, so good job to them. I, 32 year old female, am currently dating a wonderful guy, 32 year old male, for the last six months that really cares about me. While it triggers the resentment I have for my parents by being so lovingly cared for, it is amazing to experience a guy that is genuine. Love is occurring. My ex, 30 year old male, was a nightmare, so it's refreshing. However, my current BF is in debt consolidation. He was able to live in a rent free situation like myself until he obtained his master's, which he has no debt for. He said he didn't realize how expensive moving out was and he got in over his head acquiring things that he needed to live on his own. My boyfriend complains about being tight on cash often. However, he has expensive tastes and eats out daily. Something that I cannot wrap my head around. I have no issue buying dollar store body wash and driving a fourth of a mile to save a little bit on gas. He will buy $10 body wash and buy gas anywhere. He has to have an iPad and I am happy with a Kindle. He said that his friends make comments about how he spends just about every single time he talks to them about buying something expensive like $400 vacuum. Thank you get him cheaper on Facebook Marketplace. When there's a reasonably cheaper option, it triggers me. It makes me feel like he's going to follow the back and forth of debt that my dad has. He says that he only has one card left that he keeps paying down. His expensive taste causes me to rant about money and my dad's handling it and he responds that it makes him feel like I am accusing him of something he hasn't done. He has expressed that he just wants his monthly bills paid and I have said that I want savings. I don't feel like as a situated adult an unexpected $2,000 expense should trigger fear and panic. Other than this, this guy is wonderful. The one thing that my ex and I agreed on was money and I love talking about money. Meanwhile, my current boyfriend tries to avoid the topic. Am I being too anal or should I have genuine concern? I have expressed to him that I believe money is going to be our biggest issue. If I'm not being anal, how do I address this? I don't want to lead to me being a control freak about money if we get to the point of sharing expenses. Too long, didn't read. Boyfriend and I have different views on money. He is in debt consolidation, continues to have expensive tastes. It triggers anxiety in me due to my dad's similar tastes causing constant debt. Unsure of how to dress as I am extremely frugal and like to save. Money talks lead to him feeling accused of being my dad and he avoids the topic. I would consider actually going to therapy for what your dad did to you. This isn't a normal, my parents went paycheck to paycheck. This was, I was medically neglected as a child and it caused issues and lifelong permanent damage. I could honestly see that OP might need a little bit of therapy to get past what her dad did to her. I do see some issues with the boyfriend and his spending. I think actually, Couples therapy could work really well because it seems like this is causing a big rift against the two of them. And I think that a lot of couples go to couples therapy when it's too late, but I think it sounds like she might be extremely on the frugal side and maybe probably past where most people do. And he seems to be a little bit over here. So just maybe like a tiny bit, like a couples therapy session, just that way they can talk and really get to the point where they are communicating well. So that way he can understand her point of view kind of because she's lived both halves of that life. But this is definitely an example of why I think money talks and all those things are so important because that's something that could just constantly be triggering stress throughout a long-term relationship. I unintentionally accidentally chose a whole theme for this video and this was pretty much that money and having the same philosophies on money is very important. Long-term viewers of my channel know this is something I've been spouting from my channel since the beginning, but ultimately my boyfriend and I want a certain type of lifestyle where we can retire at any point and that we can retire young. And we both share this philosophy. It's so 
it works for us. But anyways, that was the video. If you want to see more money, relationships talk, I talk about money, I talk about relationships, I talk about health, I talk about all those things. So definitely subscribe for more content just like this. And with that said, don't forget to end